Hello, everyone. Of course, another book today at Cindy Harper Speaks. And this one I haven't read. We're going to read it together. It's called How Wisdom Came to the World, an Ashanti tale retold by Benjamin Kahn and illustrated by Marla Baguetta. Beautiful colors. So here's the strategy focus. Anansi is a spider. He is asked to do a great favor. As you read, ask yourself questions about how the story will end and look for the answers. Okay. This must be Anansi. A long, long time ago, no one in the world had any wisdom. People and animals wandered around trying to understand what life was all about. Sometimes they would learn things, but they would forget them quickly. There were no wise creature, creatures. Anansi the spider was not wise. One day a visitor came to Anansi spider web. It was Nyame, the sky god. The spider was surprised because he did not often have visitors. Hello, my friend, said Nyame. I have some gifts for you. I have some sweet yams and golden thread for your web. Anansi reached for the gifts, but the sky god continued speaking. In return, I need a favor, if you please. The sky god carried a pot under his arm. Naim pointed to the pot and said, this pot contains all the wisdom in the world. Please take it and share the wisdom with everyone. I cannot do it by myself because a thunderstorm is coming and I need to get ready. So please do this favor for me. Anansi was lazy and did not really want to help, but he did agree to help Naim. He was pleased that Naim had asked for a favor. He was also very curious about the pot and what was inside of it. As soon as Naim left, Anansi pulled off the pot lid and looked inside. Oh my, he said. The pot contained many wonderful secrets. Anansi looked at the secrets carefully. As he saw them, he became wiser and wiser. Anansi learned where fat flies sleep and how to catch them. He learned how to make cloth from bright threads. He learned how to make colorful pottery. He learned where to find gold in the ground. He even learned how to gather plantains and how to make yams grow larger and sweeter. At first, Anansi planned to share this wisdom with all the other creatures, as Naim had asked. But when Anansi saw all the secrets, he became greedy and waited, wanted to keep the secrets for himself. Why should I give away any of this wisdom, he thought. I will keep it all for myself. Then Anansi started to worry. What if someone saw his pot, lifted the lid, and looked inside? Anansi decided to hide the pot. Should he hide the pot in the river? No, the pot might float away in the river. Should he hide the pot on the plains? No, a grass fire might burn the plains and the pot would be destroyed. Anansi tried to think of a safe place to hide the pot. Just then, Anansi noticed a tall tree. Aha, he thought, I will hide the pot up in this tree where no one will see it. Anansi picked up the heavy pot and started to climb the tree. He did not get very far because it was too difficult to hold the pot and climb at the same time. This is no good, he said. I need all my eight hands just to hold this slippery pot. Anansi thought more about his problem. Finally, he decided to pour all of the wisdom out of the pot and into a gourd. He loosely tied the gourd to his waist with a rope. Now I will be able to climb the tree, he said, smiling. Once again, he began to climb, but the gourd hit him in the stomach. Then it hit his chin. Later, it hit him in his eye. Anansi looked up the tree to the good hiding place. It was still far away. His stomach, chin, and eye hurt. By now, Anansi was feeling tired, cross, and unhappy. Just then, a young girl passed by the tree. She looked up and waved. Anansi frowned at her. Why are you angry, the girl asked. Anansi didn't know if he should answer for a moment. Then he said, I want to climb to the top of this tree, but this gourd keeps hitting me. Look at my eye and my chin. I have an idea, the girl said. Tie the gourd tightly onto your back. That way it will not hit you and you can climb up easily. Nancy stared at the girl's girl with his four eyes. Why hadn't he thought of that? I 
have all the wisdom, Anansi thought, but I couldn't solve my problem. This girl solved my problem easily. Anansi wondered why he was having so much trouble. Was it because he had not followed Naeem's directions about what to do with the pot? Anansi decided this was too much work for him. He frowned and looked up at the sky. This is what I think of your wisdom, he shouted to the sky god. Anansi angrily threw the gourd down from the tree. The gourd landed on the ground and shattered into many pieces. Bits of wisdom went everywhere. The wind picked up some pieces and dropped them all over the world. People found the bits of wisdom and took them home. Today, you can find wisdom everywhere. Everyone in the world has some of it. Wise people who have more wisdom than other people have learned to share what they know. No one person has all of it. This is how Naeem's wish came true. Now, everyone in the world shares all the wisdom in the world. So what is the favor that Naeem, the sky god, asks Anansi to do? To share the wisdom with the world. Why did Anansi become angry with the girl who helped him? Because he realized she answered the question easily, his situation, and he couldn't figure it out himself. Number three, how did Anansi change after he looked inside the spot? He Inside the pot, he got greedy. How can you tell this is not a true story? It's a fable. We know spiders don't talk and people don't ask spiders to do favors for them. But the lesson and the moral of the story, nonetheless, was very good. How wisdom came to the world. Love it. The main thing about the story is when you know something, share it with others. Don't be greedy and try to keep everything for yourself. If you like how wisdom came to the world, please press like at the end. And I'll see you next time at Cindy Harper Speaks. Thanks for tuning in and bye for now.